Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. Little update before we get into what's new in makeup. Last week we had a little bit of a scare with our 10 year old. I have a 10 year old boy with autism. His name is Luke. He wasn't feeling very well. He wasn't eating. He was laying around and he is normally super high energy. So long story short, we ended up in the emergency room. We're there for almost a week. Just got home night before last. We are still a little bit in the woods trying to figure out why he's still not eating great and still lacking in energy. We were told a virus. I think he's having some problems with his mouth. So thank you to so many of you that reached out to me privately through DMs or commented on my community tab. All of your continued positive thoughts and prayers are so greatly appreciated. I lost a week of filming and that is okay. Obviously family comes first, but this channel and playing with makeup truly brings me joy. So thank you for those that are tuning in right now and hopefully I can get back on track super fast, keep my train of thoughts. Last week I was three quarters through editing my what's new in makeup that I like to have go up on Wednesdays and that's when we had to leave for the hospital. So I will not be talking about everything for the last two weeks that is new. What I'll do is I'll talk about the things that are super interesting to me and things that are maybe super not interesting to me. <laughs> so if that sounds interesting, keep on watching. I see the Huda Empowered palette has come out. I believe it is now at Huda's website and on Sephora. And this one I am wavering on. The colors look beautiful. I think what's drawing me the most to it is that there are a lot of different formulas going on. It's got two gel hybrid eyeliner shadows and then two high shine wet metallics, a crushed flake gold, two powder metallics and two powder mattes. I have a couple Huda palettes, but I only have ever bought one bigger one. It was the Mercury Retrograde and it just didn't do it for me. I did not enjoy it. So I pull back because of that negative experience, but at the same time it looks beautiful. However, I did just see a review today of somebody that just picked this up and they compared it to the Nabla Side by Side palette. So that really confirms again that I should hold off because I have the Nabla Side by Side palette. If you would like to see a demo or a look with that palette, I'm happy to do it. I have not pulled that out in a while. This palette is $67. Let me know, do I need this? Another interesting release was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metals palette. Looks beautiful. I do generally enjoy Anastasia's formula. This is a $55 palette. I think what makes me not want to pick this one up is I just don't see a whole, whole lot of contrast in the palette. I like some really dark, some really light, and a few things in between. This looks a little too in the middle of the road for me, just like the Nouveau palette from them. So I think this is gonna be an easy pass. Got To Be is a hair gel product from my understanding, and a lot of people use it to put in their brows as a very stiff brow glue. I think it was genius that they came out with a brow product, the Got To Be Glued brow product. I've seen some differing prices. Trend Mood said that it was, she has it linked, I believe, for $19.99. I believe you can get this on Amazon. I would imagine this is a super strong brow gel. I saw a lot of comments about the price saying that it would be so much less expensive just to buy the gel and put it on your spoolie and spread it through your brows. Totally up to you. Obviously you're paying for packaging, but I would imagine that this is a fantastic product. I'm going to hold back for now because I don't believe that I would specifically pay more than maybe $10 for a brow gel. I believe there are a lot of really good affordable options out there for brow gels. I have some very good ones, including soap. My current favorite that I'm using all the time is probably the e.l.f. Brow Lift. $6, it's just fantastic. It's immediate hold and it just it's inexpensive and gets the job done. 
Sephora has a lot of holiday favorite sets that are out that I definitely think are worth looking into. There's the holiday lip set for $45 with the NARS gloss, a Pat McGrath lipstick, a Rare Beauty gloss, Too Faced lip injection, Charlotte Tilbury matte lipstick, Urban Decay lipstick, Give by Gwen Stefani. That one looks fabulous. There's the sparkly clean makeup. There's the makeup must-haves. That one looks really good. The holiday perfume sampler. This is a great way to try sample sizes or travel sizes of products that maybe you hadn't tried before. These are great gifts. These are usually very well put together and you do get a discount because you get so many. You usually get a couple full-sized items, but definitely check them out. They even have the Lux Vibes Luxury Beauty Sampler Set that's gonna have the Armani Liquid Matte, Pat McGrath Liquid Liner, which I've heard is fantastic, Gucci Mascara. A lot of really cool things. I would check it out if you haven't tried these products and you want to, or as a great, great gift option. Honorable mention to the Sephora Liquid Lip Stain. They are my all-time favorite liquid lipstick. Uh, I know that they have a gift set out. I bought one last year, still working through it, but I have gifted those. Those are a fantastic liquid lip formula. And of course, everything that I'm talking about today is gonna be linked below for you to find easily, including the makeup that is on my face. Makeup Revolution has a beautiful holiday set. I will post a picture. Makeup Revolution's formula doesn't blow me away, but I do not think it is bad. The things that I've tried, most of the things that I've tried, I have liked. I seem to get sucked into a little bit more of their collabs. They always have the most fun collabs, but this is beautiful. Glam Light collabed with Barbie. There is a Barbie X Glam Light collection that is out that looks gorgeous. Eyeshadow palette, there are lip products, there are liquid liners. Glam Light is one of my very favorite eyeshadow formulas. It is $40 for the palette and everything else very inexpensive. I'm gonna pass on this one, even though I am a big nostalgic Barbie lover. Barbies were everything to little Jenny. <laughs> Probably longer than they should have been. <laughs> Melt Cosmetics came out with the Bad Side Zodiac Collection. These are inspired by the negative traits of the four elements of the Zodiac. I think that that theme is adorable. They show the earth, water, air, and fire signs. I would like to see closer pictures. So I am a fire sign, and just for S and G, I'm looking up what they say about me. Let's see, we have drama queen, too much, bossy, ego trip, hothead, one upper, arrogant, and revenge. I disagree with some of those. <laughs> some of them might be a little accurate. <laughs> I have never tried Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. I have heard that they are hit and miss. I am very curious about these. They are $38 for a eight pan palette. That's a little expensive. I may wait for a sale, but I think that this would be a fun thing to try. Or if you have fun with your friends, maybe another, maybe another gift idea for you. I will pass for now. Patrick Ta has his major glow blush and highlighter palette. Looks beautiful, $58. Not interested. Glaminatrix Cosmetics has their glamorous eyeshadow palette. This looks beautiful. I've never tried that brand before. It's $55.22. Looks like it's got a lot of nice things in the palette. Four duochromes, one high impact shimmer, seven mattes. Let me know if you've tried Glaminatrix Cosmetics and if this is something I should try. Big shocker, Ulta Beauty has collabed with Disney for eyeshadow palettes, face palette, glosses, nail polishes, makeup sponges, brushes, and more. They look very nice. I have found some good things from Ulta Beauty. Eyeshadow is not one of them. And that's probably the thing that I would be mostly interested in. So I'm gonna pass on that. If you have an Ulta Beauty palette that you love, let me know which one it is. Because I did have two and one was definitely better than the other. So it might've been a hit and miss situation. But for this, for now, I'm gonna pass. 
NARS has their holiday 2022 collection. Looks beautiful with the black packaging and the stars. I see an eyeshadow palette for $60, Audacious Lipstick for $34, the Light Reflecting Setting Powder $29, Shine On Mini Dolce Vita Lip Duo $25. There's a lot in here. They have the Orgasm Blush. All beautiful. I'm going to pass. Fenty Beauty has some holiday collections. I see the Glossy Posse Volume 5.0 Lip Gloss Set. Love Fenty Lip Gloss. There is nothing that I like more than Fenty Lip Gloss. Double Cheeked Up Cream Blush Duo. Artist Couture has new Silky Lip Oil Flavors. I have never tried those, but for $22, you can get Pineapple Poppy, Mango Mommy, That Girl, Cherry Chica, or Berry Batty. Let me know if you've tried these and what you think. I'm going to pass. Charlotte Tilbury. Now, I'm very curious to see reviews on this one, but she has come out with Powder Eyeshadow in Diamond Inspired Pigmented Pops of Color. There are four shades, Rose Gold, Cosmic Rocks, Lover's Diamond, and Smoky Quartz. They are $34 each. I have a feeling that they are tiny. I am very interested to see reviews because I have very little experience with Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows. The one that I had to have, I got and I returned it. I did not care for it. It was just not, I felt like the could have been the color story, but the mattes didn't blow me away. The shimmers were not as popping as I wanted them to be. These pictures online look gorgeous. I'm going to look at reviews. If they're on Sephora, maybe I will pick up a shade in the Sephora VIB sale, which is coming at the end of the month. But for now, passing. This is really pretty. This is the Palace Identity. It is coming out with the Bloom eyeshadow compact. Each palette contains four complementary shades in different textures. They're $28. They're citrine, rose quartz, ruby, and amber. There are other items in this collection like a blossom contour, a peony contour, there's blush, there's lipstick. I mean that dragon lipstick, Chinese dragon lipstick for $29. That is gorgeous. Please let me know if you have tried this. Packaging is stunning. I'm going to pass for now, but wow, if packaging gets you, <laughs> I'm sorry, but here it is. That's stunning. Dior has some holiday sets coming out. Their eyeshadow palettes for $49. They have burgundy and khaki neutrals. They have the Dior Addict Lip Glow. I know that's very popular, $38. Dior Addict Lip Maximizer Plumping Gloss. Packaging is okay. That's not wowing me especially after that that previous one. I'm going to pass on this for now. Let me know if you have Dior shadows and you love them. Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a Glam to Go palette. Eight shades with mattes and shimmers. It is $29. That color story just looks very boring to me. It looks like various shades of pink. I don't see depth. Not interested. There is a collab with Doodles by the Bunny and Gourmand Girls Cosmetics. I have not heard of this company. The palette looks gorgeous. It is $54.99, five duochromes, one shimmer, eight mattes, combination of a fall story, Halloween color story, neutrals, and incredible pops of color in one palette. What I liked, you see that matte white, and I think there's a matte black. This is one that I could go for. Let me know if you've ever tried this formula. And if I should pick this up, Tom Ford. This is his Soleil Nige Lip Blush Lip Balm in silver. And this post says it's back. It's $58. It is a moisturizing lip balm that applies on clear, instantly transforms into a sultry pink stain, makes lips look fuller with exclusive platinum flex. Probably stunning. I would not pay $58 for a lip product. But if that is you, wow. Or if you have this, please. Let me live vicariously through you. Tell me it's wonderful. <laughs> ColourPop is collabing with Snitchery. You'll have to let me know. I do not know what this is. Uh, I will post some pictures, but there's some Divine Feminine Lippy Kits. There are the Femme Fatale Lippy Kits, the Gaze Lippy Kit, Light Sticks, Luxe Lip Gloss. There's Blush Sticks and She Devil. 
and what like it's hard and ziggy i'm not getting any of these references available <laughs> october 6th at 10 a.m somebody explained to me what this is and if i need it but it looks very cute oh how sweet wet and wild collabed with peanuts it is a holiday collection. These pictures look adorable. You know I enjoy Wet n Wild. I'm still using my Care Bear lash curler here, but there is the Gift of Giving Face Quad, Snoopy's Dog House, Merry Christmas Charlie Brown. Looks like a lot of really cute items. I may just have to pick up something. Dark Fantasy Collection from Beauty Bay. This looks really pretty. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick this one up or if I'm gonna pick up something from Beauty Bay. Let me know if you have a palette from them that you recommend. This one is only $18. I love the variation and depth of the shades. I have seen a review already. The swatches look gorgeous. The looks that I've seen look gorgeous. I'm gonna have to dip my toes in Beauty Bay. So if I don't get this one, tell me which one I'm getting, but that one's coming soon. Thrive Cosmetics. It says newly relaunched the Buildable Blur CC Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 40. It's a multitasking color correcting cream that instantly blurs and diffuses skin and imperfection with 16 hour buildable light to full coverage. With Broad Spectrum SPF 40, 28 inclusive shades, $38 each. Looks very interesting. I wonder if this is oily skin friendly. Thrive Cosmetics. That's something I have not deep dived into all you ever hear about is their mascara but it looks beautiful i'm gonna pass for now but it's Ooh, she glam you know i like that i'm about to do my october favorites and spoiler alert there are some she glam items in there a lot of she glam items i was very impressed with the makeup that i tried from the brand they came out with the corpse bride collection very cool toned there is a Moonlight Eyeshadow Palette for $8.99, Ghostly Glitter Gel for $3.49, Beaming Butterfly Highlighter, Everlasting Love Liquid Lipstick, Ethereal Glow Lip Balm. You can get the full collection for $43.99. If this is your colors, if this is what you think about when you think about Halloween, I would think that this would be very nice. I'm gonna pass on this for now. I do have my ColourPop 2 palette. I cannot wait to dig into it. I am waiting so that I can do a first impression with you. And that is everything that I am seeing. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.